Sample 1 on pipe networks, the figure shows a pipe network and details of the pipes are shown in the figure. If roughness coefficient is 0.011 for all pipes, determine the discharge in each of the pipes in liters per second. Stop the iterations when all corrections are less than the absolute value of 4 liters per second or 0 0.004 liters per second. So this is the given pipe and the details. So 400 inflow, 400 outflow. So this is my assumed uh, discharge. 500 mm against 400 mm, so I assume 0.23 cubic meter per second. So this should be 0.17 cubic meter per second to make it 0.4. So for here, 0.16, since this is 0.23, this should be 0.07. Then 0.17 plus 0.07 should be 0.24 for CD. So that 0.16 plus 0.24 equals 0.4 cubic meter per second. So let's tabulate. We have pipe, and these are the names of the pipes, A, B, B, C, A, C, B, D, and C, D. Then we have the length in meters, A, B, 2,400, BC 1000, AC 2600, and BD 2125 meters, CD 1875 meters. The diameter in meter for AB 0.5, then BC 0.3, AC 0.4, BD 0.4 meter, and CD 0.5 meter. So this is the value of K 10.29 N square L over diameter to the 16 thirds. So 10 in your calculator, 10.29 times 0 0.011 square times 2400 divided by 0 0.5 to the 16 thirds. So this is the assumed value of this charge. I just transfer it here. So for K, 120.4773 to seven significant figures then replace l by 1000 diameter by 0.3 and that's the next value for bc replace l 2600 diameter 0.4 that's the value in your calculator replace 26 by 2125 and the diameter no need same then replace L by 1875, diameter by 0.5, and you'll get these values. The next is K, this column times this column, KQA, assume. So 120.4773 times 0.23, that's the value to seven significant figures. 765.3981 times 0.07, that's the value. 429.0627 times 0 0.17, that's the value. 350.6763 times 0 0.16, that's the value. 94.12291 times 0 0.24, that's the value. Then KQA square. It should be this column times the square of this column. 120.4773 times 0 0.23 square, that's the value. To six significant figures. 765.3981 times 0 0.07 square. This is the result. 429.0627 times 0 0.17 square. That's the result. 350.6763 times 0 0.16 square. That's the result. And 94.12291 times 0 0.24 square. That's the value. So we now compute the corrections before the new assumed value or the corrected flow. So delta Q1 is delta Q1, delta Q2 assumed clockwise. So delta Q1 equals negative of quantity KQA square 6.37325 for AB, then for BC 3 point positive 3 point same direction, 3.75045, then for AC opposite direction, so minus 12.3999 divided by 2 summation of KQA so you add all these 
for this slope here, 27.70978, 53.57787, and 72.94066. So the delta Q1 is equal to positive 0 0.007379 cubic meter per second. That's 7.379 liters per second. It exceeds 4 liters per second, so we'll have another correction later. Then delta Q2, there are three pipes involved again. For BD, 8.977, so negative of quantity 8.97731, positive minus CD, 5.42148, then minus BC also opposite 3. Point BC, 3.75045, divide by 2 quantity. 8, quantity 56.10821 plus 22.5895 plus 53.57787 for BC. So delta Q2 is equal to 0 0.000 So this is 0.7357 liter per second. It passes, but because the other correction does not pass, so that's why we have to compute. The two corrections must be less than absolute value of 4 liters per second so that we will stop. Therefore, the corrected flow in AB would now be 0.23 plus delta Q1, same direction. So 0.23 plus 0 0.007379, that would be 0.237379 to four significant figures, six significant figures. Then for BC, common to loop one, loops 1 and 2, so for BC, 0 0.07 plus delta Q1, so plus 0 0.007379, and it is minus for delta Q2. It is opposite, going down, then this is going up. So again, 0 0.07 plus 0 0.007379, delta Q1, then minus 0 0.007357. The answer is 0 0.076643. Then for AC, 0 0.17 AC is here. So it is only minus delta Q1. So 0 0.17 minus delta Q1, 0 0.007379. So the result is 0 0.162621. Then for BD, it is only plus delta Q2, same direction. So 0 0.16 plus 0 0.000737, and that's 0 0.160736. Then lastly for CD, opposite to delta Q2, so it is 0 0.24 minus delta Q2. 0 0.24 minus 0 0.000737. That is 0 0.239264. So that's it. Then we compute KQA1 again. KQA1 is equal to this value times QA1. So 120.4773 times 0 0.237379. So 28.59878. This value times 0 0.07. 6643, that's the result. 429.0627 times 0.162621, that's the result. 350.6763 times 0.160736, that's the result. Then 94.12291 times 0.239264, that's the result. Then KQA1 square. That is k here times the square of this value. So 120.4773 times times 0.237379 square. That's the result. 765.3981 times 0 0.076643 square. That's the result. 429.0627 times 0 0.162621 square. That's the result. 
350.6763 times 0 0.160736 square. That's the result. Then 94.12291 times 0 0.239264 square. That's the result. Then let's compute for the corrections again to finalize the Q, hoping that all these corrections are less than absolute value of 4 liters per second. So delta Q1 is negative of quantity 6.78875, then plus 4.49606, then minus for AC 11.3468, divided by 2 quantity, add all these 3 terms, 28.59878, 58.66241, 62.5, 16.77461. So the negative of this quantity divided by all over this is equal to 0 0.0001974. So this is about 0 0.2 liter per second which passes. Initially it, it didn't pass but this time it passes. Hoping that delta Q2 is delta Q2 will also pass. Delta Q2 prime will pass. Negative of quantity 9.06 Zero zero nine, then minus five point three eight eight two eight minus for CD, then minus also for BC minus four point four nine six zero six. That's minus minus all over two quantity fifty six point three six six three one plus twenty two point five two zero two two plus fifty eight point six six two four one. And it is equal to 0 0.002996, all, all, almost 0 0.003. That's 3 liters per second, which is less than 4 liters per second. So these corrections pass the conditions. So therefore, we apply these final corrections, then finalize the answer. So the final discharge in, in AB would be previous 0.237379 plus delta Q1 prime, plus 0 0.0001974. Then the answer times 1,000 to four significant figures, 237.6 liters per second. For BC, it is common to two loops. So it is 0 0.076643 plus delta Q1, so plus... Delta Q1 prime plus 0 0.0001974, then minus delta Q2 prime, minus 0 0.002996, then the answer times 1000, 73.84 liters per second. For AC, it is only minus, so 0 0.162621 minus delta Q1. Minus delta Q1 minus delta Q1 prime minus 0 0.001974, then times 1000, 162.4. So that's why at junction A, 237.6 plus AC, which is 162.4, equals 400 liters per second. So that checks. Then for BD, 0 0.160736 BD plus delta Q2 only, delta Q2 prime plus 0 0.002996, it is equal, then the result times 1000 is 163.7 liters per second for BD. Then finally for CD, it is 0.239264, then minus minus delta Q2 prime, minus 0 0.002996, then times 1,000, 236.3 liters per second. So if you check BD, 163.7 plus 236.3, the result is 400 also at this junction here. So these are the final answers in liters per second. And if you find it fast because of direct calculations you may stop the video then you calculate these values yourselves to check